really is the culmination of you know, more than 15 years of uh, building out network across Africa. And you know, it, it, it really is, you could say, uh, the coming of age uh, of uh, liquid intelligent technologies. It's liquid at 100,000. Uh, not at 100,000 years, but at 100,000 kilometers. Um, so, you know, th this is a, uh, uh, a journey uh, that really began almost uh, 20 years ago when we started um, as a satellite company and which uh, has culminated uh, today um, with the announcement that our network has now reached uh, 100,000 uh, kilometers. You know, our network uh, is now vast. Uh, it really extends to, uh, you know, most of the African continent. And, you know, I often say to international investors that actually the fiber footprint is three times the uh, land area of the United States. So, you know, uh, in an international context and with an African context, you know, this is uh, indeed the largest uh, independent Pan-African operator uh, and fiber network connecting more countries uh, across Africa than any other, liquid at 100,000 kilometers. We started out originally connecting South Africa to Zimbabwe, then connected South Africa through to uh, Rwanda and uh, Kenya and Zimbabwe, and you know, ultimately added on um, you know, Botswana, South Sudan, uh, and now uh, moved across through DRC into uh, West Africa. And the effect of this network is not just to provide connectivity between Africa and to enable for the first time people to connect from east to west, coast to coast, something that was never possible before. It was almost like there were two Africas, one on the east coast, one on the west coast. We've now brought that together uh, into one. But what it has also done is reduce latency. So uh, you know, the introduction of cloud services across Africa is, is, is now possible due to low latencies that can be achieved right around the continent and, you know, even in countries which are landlocked uh, can now, you know, uh, quite comfortably run some of the most advanced uh, cloud and uh, compute services. We've built uh, 100,000 kilometers. Um, FTTX now passes 95,000 houses. We have over a thousand points of presence across the African continent, over 250,000 enterprise and broadband uh, customers, and we are the leading tier one transit provider in Africa. Uh, we have over one terabit of peering and content delivery network capacity, and we carry 76% of peering and CDN traffic uh, within Africa. We're connected to five, over 520 gigabit of capacity in undersea cables and uh, eight, well, almost 90 percent of that uh, undersea capacity is used for our core uh, network. So what does having a hundred thousand kilometer fiber network mean? Uh, it means that we impact more than a hundred million people. Uh, we're connecting more than 643 towns and cities and you know every few weeks another town and city uh, is connected. Um, you know, just uh, in the last uh, week we have connected in Bujima and the DRC, over three million people being connected to high speed uh, network for the first time. And as we build out across the DRC, uh, the number of uh, people who will for the first time receive, you know, super fast connectivity, you know, increases uh, by the day. Uh, we've now developed three terrestrial corridors connecting East to West Africa. Again, the, the first one was the first to do it. We you know, are now in the process of having three. Um, over the years, we've had a number of historic achievements as we've built this fiber network. Uh, we were the first to put a fiber cable across the Limpopo River, connecting South Africa to Zimbabwe. The first to cross the Zambezi River to link Zimbabwe and Zambia. First, to get to the border of Somalia uh, some years ago. First terrestrial fiber link from Cape Town to Cairo. Uh, first cross-border link to Juba and South Sudan. 
uh, the first to take uh, Microsoft Azure stack to Kenya and Tanzania and you know, now a number of other countries receiving Azure stack uh, from us. Uh, first to connect the Lobatsi border in Gaborone in Botswana. And the first to connect Durban to Cape Town via the coastal route, which is national long distance five and six. Um, you know, we, we've been making history um, over the last uh, 20 years as we've built a 100,000 kilometer network and we aim to continue to uh, make history. Um, you know, currently building uh, a link to connect uh, East Africa uh, through to the DRC and through to the, the West. Um, we are working on a low cost uh, Nigeria nationwide network um, we have recently completed uh, Lagos uh, Metro Ring, uh, and we are working on new undersea uh, landing stations uh, in a number of countries uh, around the continent. And you know, just uh, in the past year, we have connected over 1,500 mobile network towers onto our network, enabling 4G and ready for 5G uh, to commence in the continent. 